Oh, yeah, I'm going to the floor a bit because... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, basically, um, you know, Marble Bridge is the, is the village that we live in. Um, so it, it was accessible straight away. Um, the people knew who we were. You know, we drank from the coffee shop. We, uh, we were local celebs or whatever. And, um, you know, we approached people and, uh, and said... There's a Who? There's a No. Is that a place? <laughs> An actor. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. No, sorry. You know, you know, unless unless they're on Twitter or uh, Facebook, then you know, I don't really know who they are. No, I'm joking. Um, you know, we 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 um we wanted to make it you know that was accessible for us, you know, production designer, director, writers, or whatever. And um, we didn't want to spend too much money uh, at the end of the day. And when we wrote the script. Uh, we fell in love with a bookshop that was in our village uh, called the Talisman Bookshop and I would uh, invest in you in here going, Town Street, Marble Bridge and uh, mention our names, you may get a discount uh, anyway, the, the, two, uh, the two books that you actually see in the film actually were donated from this bookshop um, we had them um, uh, made into the magical books uh, and so forth, but they're actually um, two identical books uh, that had the uh, what were they? The, the Jester, you know, the, the um, Jester yeah, and whatever. Um, from the, you know, yeah, from the original emblems, of, you know, from the original novels. Um, and we just took, kind of embellished that uh, in a way to fit with the story. So we were, we were, we were like in, you know, in this, in this like, you know, remote uh, village that we thought that we could uh, pass off as a, as a fishing village in Cornwall that have white buildings that we have done. And it's just my idea, at the time that we wrote the story, uh, we'd have snow obviously yeah. throughout Britain. Like, <coughs> yeah. Naively, we, we thought... Yeah. We well, basically, we wrote the script in three days. <laughs> we thought that we could utilise the snow that had fallen <laughs> on England uh, very, very quickly. We contacted all the cast and said, you know, we write, we'd really like to make this film very, very quickly um, and capitalise on the snow and so forth. Then it pissed down with rain, yeah, and awesome. all the snow was gone. So we had to recreate the whole thing. So um, after filming, after writing in three days, we were filming two weeks later, and that was including all the cast, the crew. Um, yes. These guys were amazing. Uh, you know, Jane um, and Stephen, you know, are just an amazing talent. And you ask them to do something, and without hesitation, they do it. Uh, and that's, you know, for an actor, without any sort of uh, derogatory you know, comments about other actors that I've worked with in the past, but you know, these guys were absolutely amazing. You know, you told them to do something, they would do it. Without you know, question or hesitation, um, we, we believed in what we were doing, and we wanted to make something that was very surreal, very engaging. I think we should ask these guys out there. Lovely. I was going to say that. No, I'm not interested in any questions from anybody in the audience. I just want to go to the bar and have some more alcohol. Yeah, yeah that's fine. A couple more after this. So, uh, if well, someone wants to buy me a drink, uh, you know, I go by the sign, sign name of uh, yeah. Shipman. Yeah. <laughs> Question. Whatever you need, please. Can you tell me about the little girl? She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's such. No, I don't know who she is. She came along one evening. We were filming, and then, you know, we did an adult movie. Uh, it was very. What do you want to know? Uh, okay. uh, I worked with her sister, um, and uh, I basically I, I done a, I done a, I done a drama um, for uh, ITV uh, a couple of years before I worked with her sister, and she came in as an extra, um, just as a walk-on part, and I just, you know fell in love with uh, Emily. Emily Coggin, her name is. Her grandmother is in the audience somewhere. Where are you? Um, yeah, Emily. Yeah, yeah. Emily um, was a face that I knew, and we were looking for somebody that had a very surreal, unique face, and we weren't sure. And I found it innocence really do it. That wasn't. We didn't want anybody that had. Uh, being in the theatrical industry that have had any previous experience and wanting that kind of innocence to come forward and, and obviously you um, I've had some contact with Emily and we have we contacted her parents and said I, I don't suppose you would mind if 
which she would audition for this part. And they put a little video footage together for us, and straight away we we yeah, saw the footage. Yeah, we fell in love with her. You know, she was yeah. amazing from the start. And uh, again, like Jane and like Stephen, who are you know have been in this industry for <coughs> <coughs> together you know eight years in total, maybe. <laughs> Um, you know, Emily had me, her first part was when, you know, I'd, I directed something else and she was just this walk-on and she'd never actually done anything to camera and we'd asked her to do these amazing things and speak this dialogue and, you know, uh, she was absolutely stunning. Um, and actually, I believe, there was an incident when um, we were in the uh, bookshop at Acres uh, when Jane was delivering her lines I think Emily had corrected you at one point. She got she's forgotten her lines. And this little kid, she, she was eight, was she seven, eight years old? And she knew, you know, even when we were at the BAFTAs when the film was uh, shown the BAFTAs, she was reading everybody's lines as the film was playing. You know, she was amazing. Brilliant kid.